In our previous section, we dealt with numerical summary for one variable and graphical summary for one variable again. And that very naturally raises the question, well, what about two? And so we would like to do the same to uh, describe the relationship, both using numbers. So this will be our numerical summaries and also using graphs. And that will be our graphical summaries. So the learning outcome for this section. So you will need to learn to use the appropriate numerical summary to study the relationship between two variables. And for now, we will restrict ourselves to the case when one of them, at least one of them, is categorical. So that could be one categorical and one quantitative or two categorical ones. So we'll do that for numerical summary and also for graphical summary. Uh, later on, we will deal with a case when both of them are quantitative. And I'm just reading the answers because that would kill the fun of the Kahoot. Right, so this is just a summary of what we do. We've done it for one, now let's do it for two. One of them is categorical, so both could be categorical, or one categorical and one quantitative. So we're gonna do something which you may find a bit crazy. We're gonna be playing what is called a blind Kahoot or a teaching Kahoot, which means I'm gonna ask you a question which, believe it or not, are things that you haven't learned yet. But uh, we can do it on this topic because really all you need is the knowledge you have when there is one variable and some common sense, right? And you will learn as the game goes. And the idea is I ask you a first question, maybe then you think hard, decide what an answer could be, then I explain. And then later on, a similar question will come again. And so as you go, you learn. And by the end of the Kahoot, you should know the stuff. So that's the plan. And because maybe you want to think about it, I'm going to give you the questions in advance and so you can pause the video. And then when you're ready, you start the game. So you will need to choose some numerical and some graphical summaries to compare two variables. So you will have questions about sex and study area. You will need to compare sex and income and level of education and income. So basically, you know what the question will be and you can just take a little bit of time to think about it. And then I'm going to start the Kahoot. Let's go. So this Kahoot is about comparing two variables. I've made the times a bit shorter. So if you want to pause, please do. Revision. Numerically summarize. Well, sex is a categorical variable, so it's male or female. So you can't really average those two. The only thing you can do is count how many you have for each and calculate percentages. And that's gonna be a table of frequency because you want to summarize by numbers. Income, summarize numerically. Just one variable, it's revision again. We want to summarize numerically, so we need numbers. And this time we're talking about income, which is a quantitative variable. So what we could do is calculate the five number summary. Now we want to graphically summarize the variable income. So it's not the same question. I'll let you find the difference. Okay, this time it's graphically. That's what the difference was. It's still a quantitative variable. So what you could do is draw, represent it on a box plot or a histogram. Fourth question. We still have one variable, so it's still revision. And this time we want to graphically summarize the variables. So it's a categorical variable, just like before. And this time you want to summarize graphically. So what you will need is a bar chart. You will have a bar for male and a bar for female. Okay, now there are two. We want to compare sex and study area. And we're helping you. 
by showing you what the comparison could look like. Study area could be, for example, aviation or uh, math, engineering, and so on. So what you will do, so for example, if you look at these two bars, so maybe the first two would correspond to uh, aviation, and let's say blue is male and red is female. And that gives you the ratio male to female or the number of male and female in aviation. And then you have this other set of two bars. So that's what we say cluster, the bar come together. And let's say that could be biology. So let's say a few males in biology and a lot of girls in biology. And you know that's the one you're going to be using because they're both categorical, right? So you're going to use a set of two bars per category, which would be study area, and then you get two bars each time. That's one possibility. And definitely you cannot find a five number summary because you would need to have the median, but the median of what? Median of study area? Impossible. Median of sex? Sure not. Now we want to compare these two things numerically using numbers. Really try. Okay, so if you look at all the possibilities, again, just like before, sex and study area are categorical. So you can't do box plots. You can't do uh, five number summaries. Um, well, you could do a clustered bar chart, but hey, that would be a graphical summary. So the only thing that's actually possible is a table where you would put, let's say, in the rows, the possible study areas and in the columns, uh, male and female. And then in each cell, you would put, for example, the number of males. Uh, which study aviation and so on, or proportions, if you'd like. So it's a table of frequency, a two-way table. So we want to compare sex and income. numerically. Clustered bar charts and parallel box plot are graphical summaries, so they don't fit the bill of comparing numerically. Now, so sex is categorical and income is quantitative. So what you could do is take your uh, take male and female. For each of them, you have the income. And then this income you could represent using uh, a five number summary. And that would give you numbers that summarize what goes on. So parallel, five number summaries. You have one five number summary for each gender. So you can look at the suggestions that are there and they can help you. Want a graphical comparison? So what you can see here is that so what's going to work is this one here you will have one box plot for a one box plot for male and one box plot for female because that's a categorical one and then each one will represent income and since income is a quantitative you can get a box plot for the income each time so you get parallel box plot one for each sex and the box plot of course represents income now we want to graphically compare the levels of education, so which could be HSC, Bachelor, Master, PhD, and income. Well, we're getting parallel box plot again. And the reason for that is that our level of education, it's categorical again. There are basically categorical with four, four possible values, four labels, four bins, HSC, bachelor, master, PhD, that these are really your four possibilities. And then your other variable, which is income, is quantitative. 
So if you want to graphically represent this, you could have four parallel box plots, four parallel box plots, where you have the, the income, and each one would correspond, one for HSC, one for bachelor, and so on. And that would be graphical indeed. Now we want to numerically compare those. Really make a decision, don't just wait. Okay, so this time we want to compare numerically. So what we're going to have to do, because level of education is categorical, we're going to look at what happens in every category. So for people who have the HSC only, we want to summarize what their income looks like. And that's what we only need to know what happens for one variable, right? Now we focus on people with the HSC only, and we want to numerically summarize their income. So we can do this with a five number summary. And then we move on to the next category, which would be people with a bachelor and so on. And we get another five number summary. And then we write all of those on top of each other. And that gives you a way to compare using numbers. So numerically compare. Now we want a graphical comparison. We have the levels of education and sex. Okay, so this time we can't get box plot because we wouldn't be able to have the median or the quartile for level of education or for sex because these are categorical. So we can't really split the data into this uh, four, four parts. And so what we would need to have is clustered bar chart because both of them are actually um, categorical. Do you recognize it's the same thing as what we had for a study, study area and, and sex? It's the same. So what we could do is look at people who have, let's say, a PhD only, uh, how, many, how many male, how many female. The highest qualifi qualification is a master, number of male, number of female. And that's the two bars of your graph. And you keep going this way. And that's a graphical summary. Okay, we want to numerically compare the levels of education and sex. a two-way table of frequency. And again, you'll recognize what we had for study area and sex, because it's the same, it's really the same underlying situation where both variables are categorical. So what we're gonna have is a two-way table. So we're gonna have, for example, vertically uh, the levels of education and then one column for male and one column for, for female. And then we're gonna put in every cell how many of each we have. And that's the end of our Kahoot. So now that we have learned all the useful ideas in the Kahoot, it's just about writing down what we learned. So we're looking at what happens when we have two variables. So we said if they're both categorical and we want to represent things using numbers, then we would use a two-way table of frequency. If one is categorical and the other one is quantitative, we're still looking at a numerical summaries at this point. We will do a five-number summary for each group. So really the strategy we have when at least one of the variable is categorical is to break the data we have by categories of that variable. So for example, if one of their variable is sex, you will break the, the categories into um, male and female, right? And then within each category, so let's say you're looking at female, you use the appropriate one variable method. So if it's sex and income, you're going to look at the income of female, let's say, and now you only have income. So the appropriate um, one variable method, if you want a numerical uh, thing, would be a five number summary. And if you want a graphical thing, it could be a box plot or a histogram. And then you compare because it's the goal. This just helps you decide what's the, the right um, summary to use. So let's look at example. So here we assume that we have um, two categorical variable and the example we have is the one we're discussing, sex and study area. 
So if you want a numerical summary for the relationship between uh, sex, sorry, and study area, then that would be a two-way table, right? And the way to do this in our, in our studio would be first to load the data. And after that, table is going to summarize things for you and uh, draw this table and calculate all these numbers for you. And really, the table didn't fit on one line. So that part normally would come there if you were to have a normal table. So numerical summaries again. But this time, we are assuming that one variable is categorical again. And the second one is quantitative. Let's look at the example. So uh, we are interested in asthma. And the researcher recorded the observation for the variable fraction of expired nitric oxygen which can be summarized by phaino, that's a biomarker for asthma, for two groups A and B with difference in genetics, right? The variable phaino is quantitative, whereas the variable group, group A and group B, is categorical. So what we do here is exactly applying the strategy we had. You go inside each category, so in that case, group A and group B, and so inside that category, now you're only looking at one variable. And in that case, for that variable, which is quantitative, what you would get is a five number summary. Well, in fact, here we added the mean. We could also have used the command five num and we would have got only the five number summary. And if you put them in parallel, then you can make some comparison. So for example, is there a difference in the median? What's the minimum value you have? And so the goal of getting those numbers is usually to be able to compare. Now let's look at graphs. So if you want a graphical summary for one or two variables, so today we're focusing on that, well, it really depends on their type. So if both are categorical and the example we had in the Kahoot were uh, sex versus uh, highest level of study, that was one. And the other one was a uh, sex and study area. And the way we did that was to use clustered bar chart. And we'll, we'll see example of that. Now, if one is categorical and the other one is quantitative, so the example we had was sex and income, then you could have comparative box plots, so one income for male and one income for female. Let's look at that on example. So using the class survey, um, we're going to be looking at some of these summaries. So um, if we want to look at study area and sex, or uh, the mode of transport, you first need to know which one are categorical and which one are quantitative. And let's see the summaries we have. So study area and sex would both be categorical. So we would use a clustered bar chart and the mode of transport would be categorical and the travel time corresponding to that would be quantitative. So if we want to do a comparison, we could use comparative box plot or comparative histograms. Let's see what this would look like. I'm not going to talk about graphical summary and not show you. So we said that if we want a graphical summary between study area and sex, we could get a clustered bar chart. And that's what you have there, right? And you could also do something a little bit better, which is what we did here, which would be to order the bar depending on then you need to decide male or female. So in that case, it's decreasing order for male. So you see why it's called cluster, because, for example, if you choose, let's say, medicine, you have these two bars glued together, one for male and one for female. Our next example was the travel time to UNSW. And for each of those, so of course, the, um, the mode of transport itself is categorical. But then for each of those, you get this set of numbers, these values, travel time, so that's quantitative. So for each mode of transport, you're going to be getting a box plot. And we draw them using the same scale here. So they're parallel. And that's why you have the name comparative box plot or parallel box plot. And then you would use them to compare and make statements. So thanks for listening to this section.